Hello everyone, and welcome to this video that shall henceforth be known as Rotary Craft Speed Spotlight Part 2. Yes, I am back to do my second Speed Spotlight on Rotary Craft, the massive mod that adds everything rotation to Minecraft. And I'm just going to get right to it. I'm going to tell you everything this book does and doesn't about power transfer. So it's going to be this tab right here, starting on page 5. And all this stuff, including the new shaft power bus controllers which were released in the recent update so why am I standing around let's get started and look at power transfer so to transfer rotational energy you need shafts so you have the steel shaft that we made earlier but you can also make stone shafts out of just simple smooth stone or you can make diamond shafts which are strong out right of th three diamonds or you can make bedrock shafts out of bedrock but you need bedrock dust and that's a long po process but they are here bedrock shafts and to make you can make stone shaft using this stone shaft, stone rod, sorry, by pl placing half slabs, and this has, this can hold 958 newton meters at 11561 rads, which is pretty fast. Then you take all the other metal ones, and you put them over a mount, and you get eight of the sh of these shafts. You also get eight of those, and these are, have, have low limits of 5560 five, newton meters at 55207 rads for steel, and just these them six six nine five oh eight newton meters nine five five three three nine for diamond and bedrock shafts are unbreakable but if you do manage to get over that you can see i have speed of two million but this can only take about one million it will break so now you can also make gears to, to change between torque and speed since torque is power and speed is well, speed so you can make wooden gears out of just wood you can make stone gears which you get two of. You can make diamond gears, which you get eight of. Or you can make bedrock gears, which you also get eight of, but they also take bedrock dust. Now you have to make um, these gear units. Two gears, two shafts for any of the metals, and sticks for wood will get you a two times gear unit, two two times gear unit, two more rods will get you a four times, a two and a four gets you an eight times, and a two, and a, two and an eight gets you the biggest 16 times gear unit. Now you take any wooden gear unit and surround it by some wood planks in a work table and you can get the gear box that goes along with it. Half half stone slabs with stone and you get the stone box that goes with it and over a mount you get the rest of them. So there's all these gear boxes and they're all different and yeah. So you could take one of these gear boxes and it will has a ha, does have an internal inventory. You can see the ratio is 4, mode is torque, power is 1 kilowatts and there's no damage on it. They do generally take they do um, take damage over time if you, unless you fill them with lubricant. It doesn't consume lubricant, it just needs some in there, except for bedrock, they're unbreakable. And so you can see torque's being multiplied four times. If I take the screwdriver, shift right click, I can turn it into speed mode, and I can see speeds being multiplied four times and torque's being divided. So you can also make these be these bevel gears using a gear and some shaft and some panels, and yeah, and they'll turn it for you. Now to turn these, you can't, you can't use the screwdriver, it'll just show you some colors. To turn it, you have to actually right click, you open the inter internal inventory, which has input side and output side in terms of the colors. So you can see blues on top, then black and pink. So you can do that to make some kind of crazy windy gear thing like this. They don't take damage and they have no limits. You can also make these shaft junctions, kind of like how you did before but with another rod and another ingot. You get two of them and they will combine two equal speeds and sum up their torques for the output. See the output 16 over there, and you have two same speeds. If the speed is different, it just kind of goes crazy and outputs the and outputs the faster speed at the faster at the faster speed's torque. So there's no addition going on there. So make sure the speeds are the same. So now you can make a clutch, which will only emit power if powered, which is just a redstone dust under a steel shaft or the assemb assembled form of a steel shaft. You can also need a screen for some future recipes. And to, you can use that screen, an ender pearl and a shaft, and you get a, two dynamometers, which tell you the power, torque, and speed. You can see I've been using them a lot, and they don't do anything to the power at all. You can surround materials around a gear, and you get one of these flywheels. And there's three different materials. Put those out of a mount, and you get a, you get a flywheel. These are the cores, sorry. And they have limits, too. You can see these are the max speeds they can each have, and they... If you have an unstable input that's constantly changing, these will take that unstable input and make it stable by building up speed and then slowly outputting. But you can see here I have too much speed, so let's see what happens to this flywheel. It blows up. 
So make sure you don't overload the speed. Sorry about that, but you can make a worm gear by putting two shafts around a gear in the left diagonal shape. You can take that and you can put it with a mount and some mods and you actually get a worm gear using the worm gear. And what this does is it multiplies torque by 16 and dividing power by a little more than 16. So you get a loss of power. Dividing speed by a little more than 16, so you get a slight loss of power, doesn't take any durability, and has no limits on it. You can also make a CVT unit, which is a really cool thing, using diamond shafts and some steel bearing, circuit, screen, mount. You get a CVT unit. This also has an internal inventory, and it's going to take some lubricant to fill up, but just a bucket of lubricant right-clicked on it will put that in there, otherwise it will not put anything. You can make some belts, which I don't know why they're not here. Some of these, you get two of them for that recipe, and you fill it in, and... As you fill out layers, you can double the possible ratio. You can have up to 32, but you can have custom mounts too, but they're not as reliable. So you probably want to do 32, 16, 8, 4, 2. Torque, speed, switches, and you can also use this to control what you want it to do if the signal's on or off. Now you can craft yourself some wine springs using this recipe. Put them around a shaft, you get an industrial co tension coil. Sorry, You can make a brake core, brake disc, using the bearings and some gears. You take the brake disc and the tension coil, and you can make an industrial coil, which draws up power over time, and you can use the angular tangent to figure out how much power it has. It has an internal Im internal option to tell you what you want to output, and then when you power it, it will output that as long as there's still some power in it, because it drains fast, and depending on how you charge it, it can charge really slow. Now there's a multi multi-directional clutch, which uses a two eh, two times gear unit and some shafts. And this will output to various sides depending on the redstone signal. So you see internal inventory. Up to 15 different red, 16 different redstone signals. Right now the signal's on, so it's outputting to the bottom. If I were to turn the signal off, that switch to zero and it output to magenta side, which is the top. So now you can craft a hub, which we made earlier, two panels and some steel. You get one of these belt hubs. Now putting you get two of them, sorry. Putting these on is really important because you can see there's a green output side and here there's also going to be another green output side but to get them to hook up one of them needs to be red for output so then after that you take some belts by the way shift left shift right clicked and then you right click on the first hub right click on the second hub and they will hook up sometimes the belts don't render but you can see they are there because they will render right here and if i were to turn on this clutch you can see the power is being transferred all the way over here last two things, the two most recent things that were added, are the shaft power bus controller, which is crafted like this, and the shaft power bus, which is crafted like this, just a belt in the middle instead of the circuit. The bus controller takes a small amount of lubricant over time, and it takes an energy from the side with a circle on it. And you use these outputs, you attach the shaft power buses to it in any configuration you want, and it will distribute the power among each of the outputs that these have. You see these have internal inventories. They'll take any They'll take a steel shaft or any kind of steel gear in these inventories, and they'll use it to gear up or down whatever you put in. So you can see each of these are getting 256 watts of power. Actually, it should be 512. It's it's very variant. This is what kind of thing you'd want to use a flywheel on. But in here, you can see I have a shaft, so it's just outputting straight signal. And in here, you can see I have a two times gear, so it's doubling the torque. And that's it. So this part two spotlight time was 752.78. Not very good, but I think I covered everything pretty well. Um, one thing I should mention is any shaft, you can be rotated, and it will also go up and down. Remember, green is input, red is output. Um, that's that's true for most of these things. Using Just right-clicking with the screwdriver will rotate it. And shift right-click on the shaft junction will disable it. I know it won't. It'll switch it. Switch the mode. Disable is in this form. It'll turn the input to output and the outputs to input, so you can have one one input, two outputs that will split the torque in half. And I think that's everything else I have to say. Um, part three is going to be energy consumers, and if it's if that part's ready, you can see the link here. Otherwise, you'll see a picture of a turtle. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.